molecular biologists this first specification point on transporting animals we're going to be looking at transport systems and why a multicellular organism such as a human needs a transport system such as a circulatory system and the reason for this and what we were going to be looking into today is the surface area to volume ratio now they really like asking about this in the exam so you must be able to calculate surface area and volume ratio so they usually ask this about cubes so to find out the surface area of a cube, we need to find the area of one of the sides and then times it by six because we've obviously got six sides here. So in this particular case, I do A times A times six. So whatever A is representing, so A might be one centimetre, it might be two, for example. If I was to find out the volume, I'd be doing A cubed. So basically it's the height times the width times the length to find out the volume. Now to actually get your surface area to volume ratios, you need to do something else as well. So here I've got three, three cubes. Uh, so the smallest cube there, to work out the surface area, I'm doing one times one times six to get me six centimeter cubed, centimeter squared, sorry. In order to get my volume, I'm doing one times one times one to get my one centimeter cubed, which gives me a ratio of six to one. For my middle cube here, surface area, I'm doing two times two times six, which gives me 24 centimeters squared. And then to get my volume, I'm doing two times two times two, which gives me eight centimeter cubed. Now, 24 to eight as a ratio, it doesn't really allow me to compare my ratio very well. So what I need to do is try and get that down to a something to one, which is what you need to do in the exam. So in order to get something to one, I divide 24 by eight to get three. So in this case, my ratio is three to one. So again, I do the same here for my last cube to generate 54 and 27. And again, to get my ratio here of two to one, I've divided 54 by 27 to get two. So here my ratio is two to one. And this allows us to com have comparable surface area to volume ratios. So as you can see here, as the cube gets bigger, the surface area to volume ratio gets smaller. And that's the same within organisms. As an organism gets bigger and has more and more cells on it, or in it, a part of it, the surface area to volume ratio decreases. And this has an impact upon how the organism is able to cope and work. So a very typical exam question with this is, why does a multicellular organism, such as a rabbit in this case, need a transport system, such as a circulatory system, whereas a unicellular organism, such as a prokaryote or bacteria, doesn't? And the reasoning behind this is because in a multicellular organism, such as our cells or the rabbit, we have a relatively small surface area to volume ratio in comparison to the prokaryote. So the multicellular organism has a higher metabolic rate as well, which means that we're going to be undergoing more aerobic respiration than, for example, a prokaryote, because we need to generate more ATP. We've got a lot more processes going on within, within our bodies. And in order for that to occur, we need more products uh, for um, aerobic respiration. We need more things like oxygen for that per process. It'll take a lot longer for the oxygen to diffuse in to the multicellular organisms, organisms as well. Uh, and this is because they have a longer diffusion distance in order for the oxygen to get into these cells here in the middle of the rabbit, where the diffusion distance on this one here is gonna be a lot smaller because it only needs to diffuse very short to get into the middle of that bacteria. So here's a very typical exam question. Um, if you wanna pause it and have a go at that, um, it's very, very popular on the exam here. So I'm gonna show you the answer in three, two, so there we have it, there's the exam mark scheme for that. Here is the high metabolic rate mark on this side. It's very, very popular on the new specification. Make sure you're adding that bit in. And as you can see, we need to be making sure that we are using comparable statements. So um, higher, lower, this has more than this. Make sure it's really obvious to the examiner that you are stating which organism you're talking about. Guys, good luck with your exams and all the best.